Look at that little old early American end table. It says shoe cleaner stand. It is not a shoe cleaner stand. That is an end table. It's just not right. <gasps> Ooh, you're so 90s. I'm over in the sheets and I see something calling me. Ah, I gotta love the smell of horsies. I think she might still be out there riding. Oh, she is still riding. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Okay, I have a different game plan tonight. The last time I tried to shop while Rachel was at her horseback riding lesson, I got really, really rushed. Uh, because I got a text saying, oh, I got to get out of here right at a certain time from her trainer. So I have dropped her off 45 minutes early tonight, which you might think, oh, Danny, what are you doing? No, 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 no. That is 45 extra minutes that this girl gets to spend playing with horses. So no problem with Rachel. Noah's out on a driving lesson and I have to keep my mind off of that. He's doing really well and he will have his license very soon. I'm so excited. He's not so excited. I'm excited. <sighs> and it's a big weekend for him too. It's his big go-karting, not just his sim racing, but his actual go-kart race is happening on Sunday. Oh, I hope he does well. Anyway, so I am here and I'm going to get into this Goodwill and I'm going to see what I can find that I can turn around and sell on whatnot and eBay and just straight through email. That's right. If you see something I buy and you want it, just email me. And then if I need any more information, just read my little autoresponder and it'll tell you exactly what I need. And I send you an invoice and then I get something awesome to you. All right, let's get in there. Let's get shop done. And yes, it's still daylight. I love our big blue sky today. Okay, first things first. Which one is it? Which I, I feel like the white handle, white handle's been good to me lately. So we will go with the white handled one for our lucky cart. And we're still purple. I'm coming to the furniture in the back first to see what might be back here. I do like the little dragonfly little outdoor table-y thing for $7.99. I feel like I could flip that for at least 20 bucks in my store. I'm looking for any cracks, damage. There's a little bit of rust, but that's easy to clean off of glass. Yeah, let's put that in the cart. And of course my thought process is, even if I can't sell it for that, I would totally put this in my backyard because it's really, really cute. All right, was there any other furniture or items calling to me? Look at that little old early American end table. It says shoe cleaner stand. It is not a shoe cleaner stand. That is an end table. Grew up with them. That uh, maple was the thing growing up. Let's see, 70s, 70s maple, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's very pretty. Look at the matting is part of the print. And there's deer. Is that an artist name? No, or is that just flowers? I don't know. That's really cool. But I don't think it's anything like high end. It's just party. Yeah, we'll start in the art. Why not? We never start in the art. Why not start in the art? The old farmer's market stand. That's some very uh, Monet-esque. That'd be fun to find a real Monet one of these days, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's very likely not going to happen in my lifetime. Let's see, these are pretty, pretty picked through. 
tonight. That 90s paper art. Oh, I saw that little blue frame, but it was chipped. Cinderella, another little Cinderella print. $4.99. Hello! Pretty good, how are you? All right, it is always fun to meet viewers at the store, have a little chit chat, and then look over and see that they brought out a cart not too long ago. Let's see, another one of those golden knights. Our golden knights are doing good. We might be going for a Stanley Cup action again. It's uh, It's been a while. Silver on copper, I think is what those say. That's a big terracotta angel. Incense. Amanda, Amanda's mug. That's a very limited uh, customer base on that one. Look at all of these uh, wash baskets. Let's see, what have we got? CBS Studio, wait, okay. What do we got? Oh, the Ed Sullivan Show presents the Beatles. I mean, it's just a print, but it's kind of a cool print. I don't see a price on it. I'm looking for a price. Oh goodness, I'm gonna put it in the cart and we'll find out how much it is. There it is, $12.99. I think it's kind of cool. I actually think that Will would uh, get a kick out of this. That'd be something that would work really well in his boutique room at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. So I think I'm going to get this for my buddy. And then there is some lavender, which is like my favorite kind of fake plant here. $4.99. We'll stick that in the car too. That's for me. That's yeah, just a I don't know why. I'm not really a big purple girl, but I do like the uh, natural looking lavender things. I don't know why. Oh look, now it's it's only two dollars. See, it's bothering other people too that it's it's just not right that it is in this weird thing that they put it. I wish they hadn't done that. I don't know. I, I just I really it's just something. And if it bothers me that bad, it's gonna be hard to sell. It's gonna bother other people too. Oh, those are plastic. That's a cute little, I might've looked at that the last time I was here. It is cute. All right, let's see. <laughs> Hot baths, 20 cents, used, five cents. No, thank you. I will take my own bath water. That is a heavy chalkware piece. Glad you popped into my life. He's very cute. All right. We don't need little tchotchkes like that tonight, though. Oh, my goodness. You're kind of cute, but what are you made of? Are you resin? Yeah, you are. How do, it has a strange feel. And why is he wearing lipstick? Hmm. Oh, our little Bradley doll is still here. She has not found her forever home yet. Got a little children's tea set with bees. It's kind of adorable. That is Yadro. But the bells just don't sell for too much. I mean, they, they might be 15 to 20. But bells, I'm telling you, bells are a hard sell. Like, not a lot of bell collectors out there. But here's another Betsy Clark. No, this one looks like Precious Moments. This one is not a Betsy. But that is really cute. My piece I give unto you is $3. Do I need this one? Because I could, could lot it with the Betsy Clark. It's on that same order. Mm, you know what, I will... I'll, got to put it in the cart and we'll see when I go to check out if I still have it. And if you're new to watching my videos, just so you know, I do a recap at the end. Uh, after I've done all of my shopping, I will tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. 
that is all after I finish. And if you stick around, then why not hit that subscribe button too? It definitely helps me and it will let YouTube know you want to know when I upload that next video. Oh, which is every day. Okay, a lot of people were talking to me about this. And look, somebody reunited the cup and the, uh, the vase because it's a tumble up. Now it makes more sense. Is that cup chipped? It's got an ever so slight, I don't know, it's not chipped. It's the way it's made. It's where the little ridge connects here that just makes it seem chipped. Now I like it better because it's a little tumble up. And I think we'll pick it up for, it's $1.99 and $1.99. So basically four bucks. See, I do read every comment. Thank you guys for pointing that out to me. But now we have a crazy little turkey uh, or chicken. Uh, I'm sure a little spoon went there. I don't know what that spoon would have looked like, but he's kind of fun. It's kind of fun for $4. I think I will take you. What do we have here? Some kind of cheaply done shell prints. Hmm. Oh, what are you? So this is an old brownie movie projector. That is really fun. It would have had a cover on this side. That's probably, well, it's metal. I thought maybe it was Bakelite, but it's not. It's actually metal. Oh, that is neat. That is neat. And $50. Oh, let's see. We got a coat of arms. We've got little shapes. I wonder what those are for. It looks like it came out of a game of some kind. Yeah, home sweet home. Little wooden cars. The happy factory. What is going on? on this little hand. It's a little wall hanging with all of these little charms, many of which are religious. So I'm trying to figure that out a little bit. Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> I have to laugh. The, uh, you can't buy happiness, but you can marry a lawyer, and that's kind of the same thing. This this is not uh, this this thing is not going over well for people. It's that's been here a while. They're not sharing in the sentiment. I'm looking. Uh, oh, it opens this way. The little shoe shine kit. Oh, the latch is broken on this side, and it's all messed up here. And it's a reproduction, so it's not not old enough to warrant all that damage. Kind of a nicely made figurine, but figurines also a little bit of a hard sell these days. Pretty trivet. Anything up top? Mm, nope. What is this? It's metal. Okay. I was trying to figure out if it was lacquer or metal. It is metal. And we are on the metal shelf, so that would make sense. Little flower wall hangings. Kind of neat coloring accent pieces, but very modern, very current, very gold painted basket there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're going to bring out another cart. Sometimes they bring out two or three while I'm here and their shelves are a little bare so they could definitely use it. Wow that is so heavy. Who are you? You are $20 but who are you? I don't see a name, but it could be under all that tarnish. That is silver plate. 
not something I want to deal with at this time. Some pretty flowers. Do you need another one to make a bunch? Okay. You don't want them? I'll take it if you don't want it. They're pretty. You know what? You sure? All right. She's going to let me get all these beautiful flowers here. We'll take them. Whoop. I am always willing to give up stuff. You know, unless it's like a super, a super expensive thing. But most things, most things I am happy to pass on to somebody who wants them more than me. So it's always nice that the favor gets returned. Don't see, I see little walnuts though. Little fake walnuts. Those are cute. But what could I do with little fake walnuts? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I will leave those. <gasps> Ooh. You're so 90s. You're a 90s buffalo vase. Ten bucks. Are you a ten dollar buffalo vase? Ooh, I don't know. That would mean you'd have to be worth about thirty. I'm not sure you are. I know you're worth at least twenty. Do I take a chance? He's awful cool looking, and I do have a Southwest section up on my stage. Yeah, you know what? I'll give him a try. And there's those other large, again, very, very nineties. Signed, oh, oh, I want to say Olivia something. They're kind of cool. Ross came from Ross. Just a plain, wait, oh, it's a candle holder, that's why. All right, all right. Some plain clear stuff going on here. It looks like people are actually buying it or they're clearing it to go to the bins because this shelf was a lot more full the last time I was here. Huh. Okay, I veered off my path just a little bit, you know, because sometimes you just have to. And I find myself right here by the toys, which is not something I generally do at the beginning of my shopping, but I figure I'm here. I might as well just give it a quick peek real quick and then I'm gonna get back to the tchotchkes over there and the glass and the household decor goods. But this way now, I have done this section and I won't need to come back all the way across the store. And I'm not, I'm not finding a whole lot. I am gonna peek over here. I think these are like go-backs in this cart here. Every once in a while, you can find some good stuff in the go-backs. You never know what people are gonna say, yeah changed my mind but I don't see anything exciting hmm nope mostly shoes and clothes see we gotta head all the way back over there but no worries we can do it and nope they didn't bring out another cart yet I'm still crossing fingers that they're gonna do that and just like that I can pick up right where I left off which is in the plastics or I don't see anything right offhand. Mm, nope, plastics are not gonna help us tonight. Although these would have come in really handy for my jewelry sale where I was dividing up everybody's purchases. If I ever do another jewelry sale, those would be, those would be pretty nifty actually. I wonder. Nah, 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 I'm sure I have something at my store that would work just as well. The greatest show on earth. Ringling Brothers Cup for $2.99. Is it Ringling Brothers? Let's see. Mm, Feld Entertainment. Uh, just says the greatest show on earth. It doesn't actually say Ringling. Oh no. Yeah. 
I think I'll leave him. I'll probably do a little look up on him and see what he would be worth on the resale market. Pop it on the screen for you, but we'll leave him for somebody else. It's kind of a cool chip and dip with the aces all over it. Plates, plates, plates. Hmm, nothing exciting. It's all very, very modern tonight. Little, little hobbyist uh, alligator there. Yeah, okay. I think that's about the fastest I've ever gone through the kitchen dishes. Hmm. Well, the glassware section seems pretty full tonight. Let's see if there's anything worth picking up. I kind of step back and take a look and see if anything calls to me. Like, you know, something with a yellow ombre. It's not very good quality though. So not that. Oh, someone did ask me to pick this up for them. So I will do that. It's actually, look at that, it's on sale. Uh, it's the Brown Derby glass. I will, if that was you, reach out to me via email. I'm grabbing it for you. Let's see, anything else? Nope, 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 and nope. Nope, in the glasses, how about in the mugs? any mugs. I've got space on my little mug rack at the store, so I'm not opposed to picking up a couple of cute mugs. What's the Tiny Terror? Elizabeth Harder's Vampires, the Tiny Terror. I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. Need money for crafts don't need money for crafts. Oh, look at that. They put a little vintage Valentine onto a mug. All right, no mugs tonight. All right, we have more kitchen wares on this row. I see things that were here the last time. I think we kind of talked about the pricing last time too. Could be why things are still here. I think they're doing a red tag sale this weekend because it is Memorial Day weekend. I'm surprised the shelves aren't more full in preparation for that sale. It's plastic. Or maybe they've just had so many shoppers they can't keep the shelves full. It's not a bad problem for a retail store to have. What would that have held? What would they have put in there? I wish it was like 99 cents. I would pick it up and do something with it. But not at four. Oh, nice little wood coasters, but they are very, very new and not very well made. Do we have a name anywhere? Well, I don't think there's a name. If there is, it's covered up and it's not exciting enough to uncover. Yep, all of this stuff is still here. Strawberry bowl. Okay. Over here, we got a cute little Avon bottle. I sure wish these would make a comeback. There are some really cute ones. But what do you do with them? You know, they're just one of those things that collects dust and people are not about the collecting dust anymore. Is it that dust used to have more value? Has dust gone down in value? <laughs> I mean, it's become easier to dust, so it kind of doesn't make sense. You'd think that, you know, dust collectors wouldn't be as bad because, well, dusting is easier. But, uh, who can tell how trends are gonna go? And we're in, man, their shelves are really wiped out. Usually this is just piled with stuff. We had a little period of time too where our donations were way, way down and we were a little concerned, but then all of a sudden the floodgates opened and 
we are putting out stuff every single day again, which is really fun. I use a lot of these little tablets. How much are they? Is that one got a price? You know what? I'm gonna see if they're, oh, are the pages all messed up? Eh, it's still okay. I use these when I'm making my videos. I just, I have to scribble stuff down. So if these are only like 99 cents each, I'll, I'll take them. Oh, let's look in the crafty section here. Hmm. Not seeing much. See, I'll pick these up too. This is what I use these for as well. But this one kind of wouldn't work because it doesn't really utilize the uh, pages well with what I need. Some cool beads. Lots of wood ones in there. But we will leave those. And I don't think there's anything on these shelves. All right, pet section. What are you? I think that actually goes like that. It's like a maybe a platform for like a reptile. Hmm, nothing here. So I'm over in the lamps and somebody left this hoodie sitting over here that is really cool. And it's probably not worth a whole bunch, but it looks like wet pipping, pipping, wet dripping paint. And you know who that makes me think of? Yes, that makes me think of my artist daughter, but I need to find out what size it is. And if it's got a maker of any kind, I don't see a maker and I don't see a size, but you can wear a, you can wear a hoodie oversized, right? That's acceptable. I mean, she's tall and thin, but yeah, worst case scenario, I can always just put it in the store and sell it, but it's, it's kind of cool. And then while we're here, we'll take a look at the lamps. That's actually a really nice brass lamp with the double and it's vintage too oh goodness and it's $15 don't do this to me lamp I don't no I can't no you're too big you're too big but somebody should grab you because you're actually really nice really nice lamp I just can't not tonight that's actually a nice lamp too and it is older it's not super old but it is older but nope no nope. we're gonna leave them we're gonna leave them oh look an aquarium nope don't need another one of those see if anything's tucked in here with these small appliances that we can't live without nope 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 and no, we, we definitely don't need one of those and we don't want to test it. I'm over in the sheets and I see something calling me. It is some really fun looking cats. Who are you? Let's see, do you have a tag somewhere in here? And I don't, is that like a duvet cover? It's almost like a duvet cover, I think, which wouldn't be bad. How much are you? Three ninety-nine. I don't know. This cat looks really familiar to me. I'm trying to place it. Hold on, stand by. So that's what he looks like. He is like a, a skateboarding, scuba diving, hiking, doing all kinds of things. Cat, and I think it, I think it is a like a duvet cover right because it opens up on the end here it's kind of fun looks full-sized for $3.99 what the heck let's take a peek over here is that an apron oh wait you are an apron with free to be that's really cute how much are you 
Do I want to pick up an apron? I do like shipping aprons, that's for sure. Hmm, it is kind of barbecue season. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Am I just buying, like, impulse whimsy buying right now? It's not really my niche. That's the thing. Neither was the duvet cover. I'm kind of second guessing why I put that in the cart, but the cats kind of got me, and I figure Rachel might like it. I always think multi-purpose. Like, what if I can't sell it? Like, is somebody in my household, you know, bound to say, hey, I want that? So... That makes my decisions, too, on things. I don't see any pillows. Rugs and shower curtains and towels. Hmm, nothing that I see that is super compelling. Nope. Well, all right. We have a fairly, uh, fairly low volume cart tonight. All right, our one last little stop over here is the purses. Liz, Liz Claiborne. Oh, well, I see nothing, nothing. All right, no purses tonight for us. One last little stop. We will peek at the jewelry. Let's see if there's anything exciting. I had a really good jewelry sale last Wednesday. It was lots of fun. I did just lots of choice lots of necklaces and bracelets and earrings and, and brooches. Oh my God, I had so many brooches. I don't see anything here that's too exciting. Oh, there's another case over there. So we will definitely do that again because I still have a lot of jewelry. I mean, a lot of jewelry. Because jewelry is really easy to buy in big groupings. And that's what I end up doing. Kind of like that bracelet right there. And I think it's only $3.99 and it's glass beads. Let me ask to see that one, if I can get some help quick enough. Because it is about time for me to head back and get there on time. That's the only piece that's really calling me. Do you see anything? Maybe these little cats down here? They are not, they are not very high quality though. All right, let's get that bracelet. So stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. thing I do like about this Goodwill is this humongous flag that they have flying here. It's not really showing its 
its splendor right now. But when this thing unfolds in the wind, it is truly a sight to be seen. And I thought it would be a little nice touch to put on the end here since it is Memorial Day weekend. And I do want to send a big thank you out to all of those who have gone before us to give us the freedoms that we have to film YouTube videos and shop and have our own businesses and about a million other things that we take for granted every single day. So uh, very, very, very thankful for our military and their families that sacrifice so much so that we can have so much. And now I'm off to go pick up Rachel after she has been playing with horses and then I gotta go home and I gotta feed the fishies and uh, then I gotta edit video because I'm getting ready for a little road trip. So I gotta get all my videos all good to go before I leave and that uh, means I will be doing uh, quite a bit of shopping. Now exciting news is that Noah has agreed to go yard sailing with me tomorrow morning. What? Uh, so that is gonna be really, really fun. Uh, so look forward to that video coming soon and make sure you're subscribed and you've hit the little bell notification and I never, 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 never complain about you leaving a nice comment. I do read every single one. I don't get to answer them all, but I do read every single comment. All right, with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. Ah, I gotta love the smell of horsies. I think she might still be out there riding. Oh, she is still riding. I know it's getting a little dark, a little hard to see. Stand by, see if we can get a little peek of Rachel riding. Yes, she's riding. Oh, she looks like she's riding a new horse tonight. Who is that little horse she's riding? Oh, it's too dark. Sunset is happening. Oh, he's a cute little guy she's riding. It's her first time riding him. I don't know who his name is. The other girl that's riding is riding the horse that Rachel normally rides. He's cute. He's a chunky little guy. She loves riding so much.